My name is Lauren Steinoffer. Um, I was born and raised in South Bend and I am a creator. I say creator because I don't only do paintings, I do installation as well as spoken word. The reason I started painting, which was like the first medium of choice, was uh, after my mom died. I kind of kept to myself a lot and was alone for the majority of, I don't know, high school and things like that. So uh, I just started creating. And then it spiraled from there. I have a degree in graphic design. I went to IUSB, but uh, I just, there's something, I, I have to have like a physical outlet when it comes to creating. I can't use the computer all the time. Although I'm, I'm pretty like shabby at it. I think that's the word, but uh, I just, uh, yeah, I have to be using my hands. It sounds cliche, but art is life and life is art. And I feel like that is, that's reflected in my work. I mean, I, it's a way, art for me is a way to process things that are happening either in the world around me or inside of myself. So like anytime I do a piece that's called like emotional manipulation or like um, uh, bridged minds for troubled times, it's like, or I hope you call then um, uh, it's, it's me trying to work through something inside myself or understand something that's happening in the world. My favorite thing to paint, well, is, is it's gotta be people. I feel like uh, I, have a, I have a lot of empathy and um, there's a lot that you can see and feel in an expression of someone's demeanor and uh, yeah I feel like that's where I gravitate the more the most towards it's called bridge minds for troubled times I wanted to show like two different perspectives one with the house that's slanted into uh, the water and then one that's like two-story numerous rooms and that would be like the environment that each one was each individual was brought up in and then it, to bridge the minds and meet in the middle, then that's where like the waterfall of uh, the cascading colors of the soul can come through, you know? The phones, that one's called I Hope You Call. I get pretty low sometimes. Like a lot of people call me low, you know? My email is like, I am low dot today, you know? <laughs> so like, it's just a, it's something that I deal with and uh, I, uh, so that piece is, uh, to, it's about suicide awareness. So um, the boxes are, that are going back in the perspective, being wrapped with the phone cords are almost like a representation of someone who has taken their life. And then the man smoking the cigarette in the chair with the box for the head and the phone hanging next to the wall is like a representation of him thinking about it and not actually doing it. So like, so yeah, I hope you call. I hope you call someone to get help, you know, if you're ever in that space. To anyone who's creating anything, don't stop. Don't stop. Like, if you get frustrated with a piece, walk away. If, uh, if you feel like you can't do something, try it anyway. If you don't have the money, dumpster dive. If you, or reach out, there's to people, anyone, like if, if there's a lot of support in this community, especially, um, or just in general, I feel like for the artists nowadays, well, I think that's, I wanna say nowadays, but um, uh, if you have a goal and you ask for help, even if it's like, hey, shout out on Facebook, does anybody have a tube of white acrylic paint? Majority of the time, someone's gonna have that for you to use. And uh, even having conversations, going to pick that up and like letting people know what you're doing, and it's a chain reaction. Like every time you make something, you're throwing a pebble in some water and it's rippling out and other people are gonna see it and they're gonna be inspired to create too. And I feel like in a world of so much destruction, we need more creators. We need people just making instead of destroying. And I get that that's a process, but it definitely, just don't stop. Don't stop creating. I am on Facebook. Uh, it's just my name, Lauren Steinhofer. 
I'm also on Instagram, which is also just my name, Lauren Seinhofer. And I do have a website, I am loved out today.